Good morning, students. Let's take a look at our morning message. June 2nd, 2020. Dear students, how many Virginia symbols can you remember? Oh, let's, let's reread that. How many Virginia symbols can you remember? Which one is your favorite so far? Mrs. Kilmer. Okay, so for starters, how many Virginia symbols can you remember? Hmm, I can kind of, I can remember the flag. Um, uh, oh, I remember the cardinal, right? Maybe you can remember some more. And I'm curious to know which one is your favorite so far. Which one is your favorite? Maybe you could write that to me in an email and explain why. I think so far my favorite is kind of the seal and the flag because you know how much I love history. And I kind of like the idea of, oh, this is Virginia standing over King George and his crown has fallen off. And I also like how the chains, the chains that King George had over the colonies is like broken. And that makes a cool connection to the Statue of Liberty and how the chains at her feet are broken too. Anyway, so, so far that's kind of my favorite, kind of the most interesting one. But today I have another book about Virginia symbols for you. So this one is called Virginia Facts and Symbols by Bill McCullough. And right on the front is a big, beautiful, butterfly okay and on the back the blurb is just talking about how the series uh, has all 50 states actually and plus Puerto Rico and Washington DC so this state's book is a series okay here we go Virginia facts and symbols by Bill McCollum Capstone Press oh table of contents maps oh map there's gonna be a map cool fast facts state name and nickname, state seal and motto, state capital and flag, state bird, state tree, state flower, state dog, and more state symbols, plus places to visit, words to know, read more, internet sites and index. Wow, there's lots of information in here. Okay, oh, and right away we have a very cool map with some fast facts. So, I don't think I'm really gonna read all the facts to you because that would maybe look, like be a little boring, just a list of facts. But let's take a look at this map. It's so neat because it has the whole United States down here and then it has Virginia in red and then it zooms into Virginia for this part of the map and there's some cool symbols in the key. So it has a black circle with a white star for our state capital and that's Richmond. It has uh, little white circles for cities. So the cities they've marked here are Norfolk and Virginia Beach. Those are two of the other big cities in Virginia. Um, places to visit. And it has some little, a symbol kind of like, it's interesting, the symbol for that reminds me of Thomas Jefferson's architecture, you know, which is kind of like Roman, old Roman buildings, you know, with the columns and everything. And then it also has Mark's rivers. And then on the map, they've written Rappahannock River, James River, Roanoke River, and the Appalachian Mountains. Here we are in Virginia. And it doesn't name the river close to us, though, the Potomac River. Here we are. We're up here close to Washington, D.C. But the state capital is Richmond. And that's an important thing for you guys to learn and remember, that our state capital is Richmond. Okay. Um, the largest city in Virginia is Virginia Beach, okay? They have about half a million people there when they wrote this book. There may be more there now. Okay, and here's some interesting things. Natural resources. So those are the kinds of things that we grow here in Virginia or that you can find in Virginia. It says lumber, that's like trees. Fish, minerals are important natural resources in Virginia. By minerals, I think coal, coal mining. The mining of coal, which is a source of energy, is important for Virginia. And the kind of crops that are grown here are tobacco, soybeans, and corn, right? And we kind of learned that before about how important tobacco has been in the past, even though it's unfortunate because, of course, it's very bad for you. Okay, state name and nickname. It says Virginia was named in honor of Queen Elizabeth. She was known as the Virgin Queen. In 1497, English explorer John Cabot sailed to North America. He discovered the land now known as Virginia. Wow, 
that's kind of a new interesting fact. Usually we just think about Columbus coming in, oh, <laughs> sorry about the cat, in 1492, but here it's talking about another explorer, John Cabot, who came here in 1497. Anyway, so they named it Virginia. Virginia is also sometimes called the Old Dominion, and it's also sometimes called the Mother of Presidents because eight presidents of the United States were born in Virginia. And that's a statue of James Monroe, who was a famous Virginian who became a president at one point. Okay, the state seal and motto. So we learned about this in the other book. It shows a soldier. So, you know, in different books, they give a little bit different explanation for what the seal means. In this case, it says it's a soldier holding a spear and a sword. The soldier is standing on a man whose crown has fallen off. The man stands for tyranny. Remember, tyranny is like an unfair ruler. And uh, the seal shows Virginia's victory over tyranny. So let's look at it. Look at that a little close up. Yep, and see again, there's the crown fallen off. It's also interesting to notice that the soldier is wearing blue. And remember we learned before that blue was a color that meant um, being like justice, like fairness, right? And when we learned about the US flag, blue stands for justice and purple, interestingly purple on the fallen king, remember purple is a special color for kings and queens and royalty because in the old days, the coloring, the dye that you needed to make the color purple was hard to find. Um, so that's why it stands for kings and queens. Okay, state capital and flag. The state capital building is in Richmond. Richmond is Virginia's capital city. Virginia state government meets in the capital city. Thomas Jefferson designed the capital building to look like an ancient Roman temple that he saw in France when he lived there. Builders completed the capital in 1792. Some people believe Virginia's capital was the first modern building with this design. Okay, so I'm not gonna read all the details, but again, Jefferson designed it and he designed it to look like a Roman ruin, an ancient Roman temple that he had seen in France. And I'll show you some information about that a little bit later. State bird, there's the beautiful cardinal. The Northern Cardinal became our state bird in 1950. People used to call it the Virginia Nightingale. Adult Cardinals grow to be about eight inches long. Male Cardinals are bright red. Female Cardinals are light brown. Both have a crest of red feathers on their hair. Crest is the thing on the top there, yep. Yeah? Cardinals live in Eastern and Northern United States. Cardinals do not migrate. They live in one place all year. Well, I gotta stop and think. So in science class, we learned about migration, how in the really cold weather, a lot of animals migrate or move to where it's warmer because it's hard to find food, but cardinals do not migrate. And that's pretty amazing. That's why we can find them around in our backyards all winter long, right? Cardinals build their nests in bushes and trees. Cardinal eggs hatch in about 12 days. Both male and female cardinals care for their young. The Cardinal is also the state bird of Illinois, Indiana, Kentucky, North Carolina, Ohio, and West Virginia. So there are other states that have the Cardinal as their state bird, but it's really special for um, Virginia. And I think that's such an interesting fact to remember that unlike a lot of birds, it does not migrate. And that's why it's especially cool if in winter you have a bird feeder or you do things to help support animal wildlife in your yard. State tree. The American dogwood became our state tree in 1956. They're 20 to 35 feet tall. Their branches can reach 20 to 25 feet in length, but most of them are a little smaller and look kind of like bushes. They are deciduous, yeah, caducifolios, so they lose their leaves every year. And in fact, I think now you'll probably notice you may see dogwoods in bloom near you. I saw one, a couple more that are still in bloom, but a lot of the dogwoods I've seen in my neighborhood have already lost their flowers and now are just beautiful and green. And they can be white or pink. The state flower is also uh, dogwood, right? So not just the tree, not just the tree on this page, 
but also our flower. Okay, and it's the blossom uh, of the dogwood. Birds, squirrels, and caterpillars eat the brightly colored dogwood berries, but people should not eat the berries, right? Because you might get sick. Dogwood berries contain quinine. Quinine is a kind of medicine that Native Americans used to use. Okay, so there's a close-up of dogwood blossoms. There's even a state dog, okay? The American Foxhound is Virginia's state dog. These dogs are tan, black, and white, okay? And they have a very strong sense of smell that helps them track foxes. It's a little sad. It used to be that in the state of Virginia, fox hunting was a popular sport. And today it still goes on, unfortunately. That's a little sad for the foxes, wouldn't you think? But it's interesting. They also make fun pets. So American Foxhound is the state dog. And there are more state symbols. It's kind of funny. So it's sometimes states kind of get carried away with a state, state bird and a state dog and a state this and a state that. So let's see what they've got for us here. Okay, there's a state boat. So the Chesapeake Bay Dead Rise, that's, a, oh, baby, stop that, sorry about that. So it's a special kind of boat. Um, that's used in the Chesapeake Bay for fishing, so that's a state, uh, state thing. A state fish, the brook trout. A trout is a, is a kind of fish that's special in Virginia. There's a state insect, which is this. This is nice, actually. This is the tiger swallowtail butterfly, and it is one of Virginia's newest state symbols. It became our symbol in 1991, and it's yellow and black. And there's even a state shell, again, connected to the Chesapeake Bay, Oysters. Oysters have always been so important in the history of Virginia and important in the in the Chesapeake Bay as a source of food for Native Americans and for settlers. So the oyster is the state shell. Okay, and on this last page, because this is not just about uh, symbols, it's also some facts. It lists some cool places to, ver to visit. Here's Colonial Williamsburg we've talked about. That's like an outdoor museum where the buildings have been restored, restored, remade to look like they were in colonial times and people are dressed as colonial um, kind of actors and can teach you about colonial times. Luray Caverns are these cool um, caverns with rock formations inside the caverns. And Mariner's Museum, that's a, a museum with things to do with the with things on the ocean, Navy and fishermen and stuff like that. Anyway, so I hope you enjoyed learning a few more Virginia facts and symbols. And I'm thinking maybe now you might pick a different favorite when I ask which one is your favorite so far. Maybe there's something in here that would be more of a favorite for you. So please go ahead and write to me um, about the kinds of symbols that you're remembering and which ones are your favorite so far. And I'll see you this afternoon with our fun story. Bye.